We're going to board system test 330. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first notification blinds, we have a Siemens EOMHU-MCS-R. This device has been doing code 3 and is set on 75 candela. As you can kind of tell, the device is a little weathered. This device used to be outside. Um, I did get this device from a uh, fire truck show. This was for sale. I did buy it. You might be wondering why would I buy something that looks weathered like this and looks like crap. But I decided that I wanted to get something a little unique. Um, it's still function, which is important. I also do have the weatherproof back box that goes with it, but I'm not going to hook it up to the system because I want to continue to use it back boxes I already have. Um, but it is fully operational and we will be using it for this test. For a smoke detector, we have a system sensor 4WB. For a second notification blinds, we have a Siemens EUHNS 110S. This device is set on 6 to 110 candela and we'll be doing California code. We still have the system sensor CO1224T carbon monoxide detector. For our pull stations, we have two pull stations. On the left, we have a Siemens MSM K, and on the right, we have a Pyrotronics MS51. Still, the system sensor RTS2 key test switch, which you will not be testing today. Connected to the test switch is a system sensor D4120 duct detector, and we will also not be activating this today. All right, to start off today's test, I'm going to pull the Pyrotronics pull station. Here we go. In three, two, one. For next activation today, I'm going to activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smoke. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. Hopefully. There we go. I will now go ahead and reset the pull station. So all I'm going to do is I want to insert my Allen key. I'm going to turn it. All right, it's going to open the station. Let me just loosen it a little bit. And obviously, as you just saw, automatically resets because it's spring loaded. There's the inside. All right. Now go ahead and tighten it back up. Very similar to resetting a Firelight BG10. Almost. Pretty much the same deal. Just it looks a little different than the BG10. There we go. Now I'm going to go on the main farm control panel. And I'm going to hit this to reset. All right, for our final activation today, I'm going to pull the Siemens T-Bar. Here we go. In three, two, one.
down. I will now go ahead and reset the pull station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my key. I'm going to turn it. Just open the station. Pop the handle back up and just close back into place and lock it back up. The lock has been a little bit stiff recently. It's been a battle to get this thing. There we go. Now I'm going to go in the main farm control panel and I'm going to hit system reset. 